And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With the temperatures running 25 degrees colder compared to yesterday, today was the coldest day of the month. It's also the coldest day for the foreseeable future. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to warm all the way up to 12 tomorrow. We'll see 21 on Sunday, mid to upper 20s on Monday and Tuesday, and then even warmer weather will move in for the end of next week. Well, after highs in the upper single digits earlier this afternoon, we're now looking at lower single digits across most of the area, including a reading of three degrees in Manitowoc. In Appleton, it is already down to one with westerly winds at around 15 miles per hour. In Green Bay, still some light on the western horizon. It's 609 coming up on 610. That's pretty nice to see, right? Four degrees is the current temperature, and we've got gusty westerly winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. So, of course, that's making it feel much colder out there. Wind chills right now in the teens below zero just about everywhere. But as the thermometer drops, so will the wind chill factor. Later on tonight, we will be looking at wind chills getting back down into the 20s below zero, and that's why we have a wind chill advisory across just about the entire viewing area. High pressure, our main weather maker, building in from the west. It'll give us clear skies tonight and diminishing winds. So yeah, we've got wind chill factors in the 20s below zero, but actual air temperatures will be in the teens below zero with some of the colder spots down to around 20 below. That area of high pressure will continue to control our weather as we head into tomorrow as well. Directly underneath it today, it was frigid, so we can expect more of the same, although it will start to warm up just a little bit as winds start to turn back to the south and west. Here's a look at your spearing forecast for tomorrow. You can expect bright sunshine at sunrise. Temperatures will be frigid right around 12 degrees below zero, mostly sunny at one o'clock with southwest winds at five to 10 miles per hour. As we head towards sunset, high clouds will start to increase with temperatures pretty close to 12 degrees above zero. Take a look at this. This is a high res satellite shot from earlier today showing Lake Winnebago, and you can see that it is ice and snow covered. Just a friendly reminder that ice is never 100% safe as you head out on the lake tomorrow. On Sunday, temperatures warm up into the lower 20s with a gusty northeast wind at times, but more importantly, Snow is coming back. Here's a look at Skycast showing snow overspreading the area during the morning on Sunday and then continuing into the early evening hours. It looks like most areas will end up with about one to three inches of snow by the time everything is all said and done by Sunday evening. Lesser amounts across the far north. So far this winter, we have now had almost 39 inches of snow. That is above normal, and we've got even more snow on the way after Sunday. A chance for some light snow or flurries on Monday and then another significant winter storm will impact the area on Tuesday and this storm bears watching. It does have the potential to produce quite a bit of snow across the upper Midwest. So tonight clear and frigid overnight lows around 12 below. Some of those colder spots, especially across central Wisconsin and north and west of the Fox Valley, could see 20s below zero if winds can diminish just enough. Tomorrow, sunshine early, then increasing high clouds throughout the afternoon. Temperatures will hit the lower to mid-teens on Sunday. Snow returns, light to moderate, one to three inches, most areas. Maybe some patchy light snow or a few flurries on Monday. Temperatures get up into the mid-20s, mid to upper 20s on Tuesday. Once again, it looks like significant snow is likely across northeast Wisconsin. That'll linger into Wednesday morning. Sun and clouds by the afternoon. For Valentine's Day, look for a wintry mix developing that will then continue into Friday with high temperatures rebounding back up into the 30s. And that storm on Thursday and Friday also looks to be a powerful storm with the potential to produce a lot of whatever it's going to do. So <laughs> the active weather is going to continue. All right, maybe another day off of school for the kids. Who knows? Possibly Tuesday. We'll have to see what the uh, Thursday night Friday system brings as well. After plenty of days off already. Yeah. All right, Cameron.